Hey guys, this is a tutorial video and I'm going to show you how to create your Etsy listing photos using mock-up photos and Canva. In this tutorial, I'm going to do mock-up of a hoodie, but you can use the same technique to create any type of listing photos you need for your Etsy shop. So let's hop over to my laptop. All right, we're in laptop view and I'm sharing my screen and we are starting out on the Canva website. To get to Canva, all you have to do is go to canva.com. I am using the paid version of Canva, but what I'm showing you, you can do with the free version. So if you do not have a Canva account, all you have to do is look in the description. I have a link. You can click on that link and sign up for a free account. But we will get started starting on the home page from Canva. Once we're on the home page, we're going to click on create a design. Now for my Etsy listing photos, I like to use a custom size and I use 2000 by 2000 pixels. So now we're in a new window of a new design. It will be untitled so you can name your design anything you want to. And I'm going to name mine test mock-up. And sometimes I like to put the size in my titles just so I know the size of the images. And then I'm going to put the PX. So mine is named test mockup 2000 by 2000 pixels, but you can name yours anything you want to. Now, the first thing we're going to do is pull in our mockup photo. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use a mockup photo that I purchased from Etsy. I'll leave in the description some places on Etsy that you can go to get mock-up photos, but I'm going to pull in one that I already have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here in this menu on the left and I'm going to go to upload because what I want to do is upload my design or my mock-up that I purchased from Etsy into Canva. So I'm just going to click on upload files and then I'm going to maneuver to where my files are located. Okay, I'm in the folder where I have my Gildan hoodie mockups that I purchased from Etsy. And I already know which design I'm going to do. So I'm going to pick this Irish green Gildan hoodie. And I'm going to say open. And you're going to see the file upload over here in this upload section. All right, so the file is now uploaded. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it into my window. Now I already know that I wanted to fill this entire screen here. So I am going to just drag the image and make it bigger until it fills the entire screen. So it's okay if it goes off canvas and now I'm just going to center it. So now I have the picture of her in this gilded Irish green hoodie and I've centered it. So it covers the entire screen here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the design that I want to add to this hoodie that I'm going to sell in my shop. And this time, instead of going upload files, I'm just going to drag the file onto this upload section into Canva. So now I'm just going to take my file and drag it into the upload section. And you can see the image that I dragged is uploading here. So there are two ways that you can bring your files into this upload section. You can do a drag and drop, or you can use this upload files button. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this image over onto our hoodie. Now, one thing I need to note is the image that you use to pull onto your hoodie or your mock-up, it needs to be a transparent image so that it is clear and you can see the image on your mock-up photo. So I'm just going to drag this over and you guys will see what I mean. So you can see how if this background was white or any other color besides transparent, it would show up over my picture of the hoodie, which means that my mock-up photo wouldn't come out right. So now the next thing I'm going to do is now I'm just going to resize this so it will fit onto her shirt. And I'm going to try to make it look just like the image will look if I press it onto the shirt. So I'm just going to play with it a little bit and move it around. I usually pull my cursor out so I can see it on the hoodie and I might press it maybe about right in there. So now you can see I have the mock-up on the hoodie. 
And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the transparency on this just to make it look like it's melted into the hoodie and not an image that I just placed on top of a picture. So I'm going to click right here and go to transparency and I'm just going to take the transparency down a little bit. And I used to play with it. You can see if you take it too far, it looks like it's fading off, but you can find just the right spot to where it looks like it is on the hoodie or the graphic that you are putting it on. And then I'm just going to click off. And then you can see now I have heart in this green hoodie with my lucky design on it. And now the next thing I want to do is I need to download this file so I can place it in Etsy. I will usually do my files in PNG format, but you can do them in PNG format or JPEG format. So I'm going to click on this button right here that says share. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to download. And then from here, I'm going to leave it on PNG. Now, if you notice that your images are coming out, the file size of your images are coming out too large, you can go here and again, you can go to JPEG, but I pretty much like PNG, so I stick with those. And I do not need this to be a transparent background because I want the kind of background and my whole image to show. And then I'm just gonna click download and it is going to download my file. And now I have a completed listing photo that I can use in my Etsy listing. And what I might do if I offer this design in multiple hoodie colors, I might go and do a blue one and a red one and a pink one. I would use the same technique of pulling my image, my mock-up image that I got out of Etsy into Canva. And then I will superimpose my design on that image and I would just place those into my listing. So that is a quick and easy way to create listing photos for your Etsy listings. So you can see how this can make your Etsy shop look really clean and crisp. If you have any questions, all you have to do is leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them for you. And also leave in the comments if you'd like me to show you how to do mock-up photos of other things. Let's say maybe you are doing um, tumblers or wall art. Just let me know and I can show you how to do those as well.